in the headlines, Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin and the National Assembly delegation of Canada today met voters to listen to voters' opinions and recommendations before the seventh session of the 15th National Assembly. Prime Minister Phan Minh Chin inspected the construction of Châu Đốc Cần Thơ Sóc Trăng Expressway project. The training conference on the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and its implementation in Vietnam. Hello, and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continuous and Top News today. On May 12th afternoon, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chin and the National Assembly delegation of Kanto City had a meeting with voters, dignitaries and religious dignitaries in Omom Upper District to listen to voters' opinions and recommendations before the seventh session of the 15th National Assembly. Also attending were party central member, also chairman of the Committee on Finance and Budget of the National Assembly, Lê Quang Mạnh, deputies of the National Assembly delegation of Canto City, leaders of ministry central agencies, and leaders of Canto City. At a meeting, deputy head of the National Assembly delegation of Canto City, Dao Chí Nghĩa, presented the expected agenda of the seventh session of the 15th National Assembly, which will be opened on May 20th. At this session, the National Assembly will consider and approve 10 bills and three draft resolutions, provide comments on 11 law projects, and specifically consider and decide on social economic issues, state budget, supervision, and other important issues. Expressing his joy when the Prime Minister came to Omom District and the plan to open the Omom Young Bring into a regional road, one of three vertical axes for social economic development for the Mekong Delta region, voters of Omom District petitioned the authorities to soon implement the project, as well as the project's lot B gas pipeline, which is approved and concerned by the People's Committee of Chao Vang Lim Gold. Proposed paying attention to finding solutions for people to classify waste, build garbage treatment plans to protect the environment, east waste tighter network security, strictly handle people who use social networks to incite and entice people to oppose the government. In addition, voters also raised many other comments sent to the Prime Minister, Ministry, Central Agencies, as well as leaders of Kanto City. Also on May 12th afternoon, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính inspected the construction of Châu Đốc Cần Thơ Sóc Trăng Expressway project, the station passing through Cần Đốc Sớm District and Cần Thơ City, and the Danok River Emergency Anti-Landslide Embankment project in Thái Thuận area Trà An World, sessioned from Sao May to Rạch Ong Bridges in Bình Thủy District, Cần Thơ City. Châu Đốc Cần Thơ Sóc Trăng Expressway Construction Investment Project, Phase 1, which started in June 2023, is expected to complete the whole route and put into use in 2027. Reporting to the Prime Minister, the Project Management Board said that it was facing difficulties in big filing materials, in particular with the Component 2 project through Gunther. The demand for sand leveling is about 7 million cubic meters. Gunther is continuing to remove difficulties, coordinating with provinces in the Mekong Delta to find sources of sand for the project. At the inspection, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chin emphasized the importance of the Jiu Dok Gunther Shopdang project to the Mekong Delta and Gunther. The Prime Minister asked agencies and localities in the region to continue to coordinate closely and complete procedures to exploit sand mines including sea sand to complete in May 5th the problems of material mines for the project. He asked to increase three shops and four teams work through holidays, New Year's Day, overcome the sun and rain, take advantage, sleep urgently, discuss and remove difficulties between localities to complete the construction progress. For the Jan River Emergency Anti-Landslide Embankment Project, the Prime Minister requested to ensure the progress, quality, technique, fine arts, safety and environmental sanitation of the Jan River Embankment Project. With flood and landslide prevention, strengthening adaptability to climate change combined with urban embellishment of Kunta City, the Prime Minister agreed on the policy and assigned Kunta City People's Committee to coordinate with the Ministry of Agriculture and related agencies to review and assess impact, study the most effective plan, report to competent authorities for consideration and decision. 
On May 13th morning at the Horn of Ninkiri Versailles Hotel, the Ministry of Justice, in collaboration with the delegation of the European Union and the United Nations Development Program, or UNDP in Vietnam, organized a training conference on the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and its implementation in Vietnam. At the conference, participants were introduced to a general overview of the covenant on social political rights, the right to freedom and protection of life, body, and movement of individuals, judicial protected rights, rights protected against unlawful interference, rights relating to families and children, and the political and civil rights institutions to monitor the implementation of the covenant on social and political rights, and procedures for the protection of national reporting by parties, Vietnam with its covenant on social and political rights and its implementation in Vietnam, thereby equipping specialized forces with skills and knowledge to effectively apply the covenant. On May 12th afternoon, Kansas City Youth Union, Kansas City Youth Pioneers Team celebrated the 83rd founding anniversary of Ho Chi Minh Young Pioneers Team, May 15, 1941, May 15, 2024. At the ceremony, delegates reviewed the glorious tradition of Ho Chi Minh Young Pioneers team through 83 years of establishment and development, inheriting and promoting the glorious tradition of the team and its predecessors, children under the leadership of the party, the guidance of the union and the care of all levels, the branches, children's movement has continued to write glorious pages. Over the years, the activities of the team and the children's movement throughout Gunther City have made many good changes and become stronger and stronger. On this occasion, the organizing committee commanded 41 teachers as general managers of the typical team and commanded 17 outstanding team leaders, awarding the online propaganda festival 2024 with the theme preventing training, injury, child abuse, and violence for the secondary schools. The organizing committee awarded five consolation prizes, two third prizes, one second prize, one most popular product award, and the first prize to two Van An Secondary School in the Gil District. On the occasion of the 83rd founding anniversary of Young Pioneers Team, May 15, 1941, May 15, 2024, on May 12th morning, at Kentucky College of Economics and Technology, Kentucky City Team Council, Kentucky Department of Education and Training, jointly organized the opening ceremony of the Good Team Leader Contest with the participation of 500 students and more than 50 teachers in charge of the Young Volunteers Team in the city. The contest in 2023-2024 school year attracted nine teams from districts in Kansas City. Each team consists of eight to ten members, competing in four sessions, including creating talented stars, and mighty stars, and wise stars, corresponding to the contents, creating gifted star activities and knowledge contests. The Rural Youth Entrepreneurship Project Contest 2024, organized by Vietnam Youth Union, it has been announced with a prize, including cash and capital support from the National Employment Fund to implement the project. In particular, the first prize has the maximum loan support of 1 million Vietnam dong. Contest encourages projects on the application of science and technology in agricultural production, environmental protection and utilization of ingenious resources, green economy models and circular economy models. The competition consists of three routes, the preliminary route, finding a model, semi-final route, supporting to finalize ideas and building projects, and the national finals. The organizing committee will award one first prize, two second prizes, three third prizes, three consolation prizes with rewards, including certificates of merit from the union committee, certificates of the contest organizing committee, and cash and capital support. And last but not least, we have the updated quarter forecast.
Deep Day Tin Quarter Forecast. Don't show up that this edition of Continues. If you want to watch again in this button, please log on to our website, CantoTV.vn. And now thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.